Well, as often happens, I have no idea what we were doing. It has been many weeks. Uh, you can actually just look at the upload dates because I ran out of ca uh, queued things uh, before we got to this episode. So, <laughs> I don't think I ever walked this direction. Well, that's pretty. I think we went down there, so we're probably trying to get Probably trying to get up there, maybe? Didn't we come from there, though? No, that doesn't seem right. Uh, no, we're trying to go there. So maybe we did come from... I don't know. Let's just walk forward. <clears throat> Welcome back. I don't really remember what we were doing. Um, I do remember that we died in some unfortunate location. Uh, I remember these guys. Yes, so let's see. The Outer Wilds DLC came out, so I had to go play that. Uh, <laughs> I just finished the last achievement, which I can't tell you about because it spoils parts of the games. Part, parts of the game. Uh, as is always the case with... Oh my goodness, just... <laughs> it's not like you actually do any damage, you're just slowing me down here. Okay. Yeah, I remember kind of giving up because... Oh, we died here. Okay. Well, we clearly lost a bunch of souls. <laughs> um, I think we can fight this guy. Oh, boy. Well, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Got to get back into this, I guess. Yeah, so finished the Outer Wilds DLC, then my... Parents are moving down to California, so I had to spend a couple weeks uh, away from uh, away from things uh, while that was going on. Oh boy! Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. See, I'm always concerned because uh, what I'm worried is going to happen is that the physics is going. Oh. Uh, what I'm always worried is going to happen is the physics is going to mess with us, and then we're going to, uh... Or physics is not going to, uh, apply to that guy the same as it would apply to us, and then he's going to, like, zoom forward over the steps and get us even though we were in a safe spot normally. Do we really have to fight two of these guys? Oh no, it's this guy. I forgot about this guy. I don't remember their... Oh, I do remember this. <laughs> These are legitimately poorly designed. I just gotta say. Interesting. Okay, so a strong attack, and maybe it's just because of the weapon we're using, but uh, a strong attack seems to knock them out of it, so... Uh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, this is fantastic. So much fun. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. These are legitimately badly designed, like legitimately terrible. Oh. They aren't fun to fight. They aren't interesting. They aren't tough. There's there's no re oh yeah yeah. There's just no reason. Ugh. I hate these. <laughs> I hate these so much. Ugh. It's just like, oh boy. Okay, I'm definitely remembering why we stopped. Okay, you know what? Um, my interest has waned considerably. I can't even, oh my goodness, just leave us alone. Okay. Um, let's try, nope. Oh my, oh. <laughs> oh well, that's fun. <laughs> I 
this is supposed to be sort of a uh, a slow introduction back into Dark Souls for me, since uh, it has been a while, so I've forgotten everything. Uh, okay, well, we are now definitely at that point where I'm like, I don't really care about fighting any of these things. This guy is the only one that really concerns me. You seem to be able to run past him pretty easily, though. Let's try jumping down here first. And then once we fall down... Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 <laughs> I did not realize how much I hated these. That is unpleasant. Okay. And I also don't care about any of this. Okay, we should be moderately safe here. <laughs> I say. <sighs> My goodness, it's just like they combined all of the worst aspects of uh, Dark Souls enemies. <laughs> So, I guess we don't really care about any of these. Did we get up here? <laughs> I forgot how we, how we got up here. Okay, do we really need to fight these things? Uh, boy. Oh, interesting. Does he... Does he stay down there? So, the unfortunate part about this is that fighting these guys... Oh, boy. Well, that could have gone better. The unfortunate part about this is that fighting these guys isn't the greatest out in the open, uh, since, oh boy. Uh, since they walk around and there's multiple of them. Still, we might be able to get this guy down. Ah oh boy. Yeah. Kind of expected that. Well, uh, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of expected that. This is not how Dark Souls should feel. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's just because of where we stopped last time, but, um, like, I'm not, I'm not encouraged to go and retry things or, or, or anything like that. I'm just sort of... Annoyed? Because <laughs> I don't really want to fight any of these guys. <laughs> I can't even say that... See, the, the problem is... Um... Uh, okay. That's cool, I guess. Yeah. I kind of expected that when we got hit by that uh, first guy. I thought we rolled past him, or... I had a plan, and it didn't work. Maybe I thought they were further away. Oh well. Even even uh, thinking back to Demon's Souls, the, uh, the swamp is kind of terrible, but... No, the swamp is really terrible. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to say this is worse than the swamp. But it has been a while since we played that, so I can't really say for sure. Okay, well, we can at least... We can at least uh, say with confidence that all of those enemies are pointless. Okay, so, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Ah, oh, that was a mistake. My goodness. I could have recovered that, but uh, I didn't really feel like we were in a good position there. Yeah... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why I don't like this. Because I'm wondering if it's just me uh, entering an area where I 
aren't terribly familiar with the surroundings, so I'm like, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, uh, which makes everything feel terrible. Or if it's just, see, because what I want to say, what, what I want, the way I want to complain right now is that none of these enemies are particularly interesting to fight. Like, this guy is the closest to interesting, but he just has so much HP that it's not fun to fight him. Um... Like, I have no no interest in fighting him. And these guys are pretty much the worst enemies I've ever encountered in a Dark Souls game. So, you know, that's, uh... Oh my goodness. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, those guys are pretty much the worst enemies I've ever encountered in a Dark Souls game. <laughs> worst designed, I should say. Even, so I, I'm thinking back to uh, the Dark Souls uh, DLC, um, the Snow Place. Um, <laughs> I keep thinking of Ashes of Ariandel, but that's this game. Uh, the Painted World of Ariamis, there we go. Note is in there somewhere. Uh, and there are there are a few sections, <laughs> which is amusing, because we didn't really f beat that one. Um, I'm never... Uh, I'm never... Uh, After beating it the first time, I didn't really have much of a reason to go back and try it again, uh, because there isn't a whole lot of... Oh, dear. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected. And look at that. Hey, it's it's more of those circle things. That's fun. Okay. I think our lack of care has to extend to these enemies as well. Um, should have dodged that. Oh, well. Okay. We might be able to dodge past these guys. We'll see. Depends on if this is a true swamp or just a fake swamp. Appears this is a fake swamp. So these things don't appear to be attacking us. Uh, well, that thing is going... Okay, that is... Let's not walk that way direction just yet. See, that was a good moment. I en I enjoyed that. Okay, yeah, all these guys are going to come after us now. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was waiting for. My goodness, so many of these things. Okay, I think we do need to deal with these small guys. First, and having both of these. Oh boy. Yeah, I saw that coming. Okay. That was exactly what I wanted to dodge. Yeah, having both of those guys coming after us at once, not a great time. Okay. But we got that guy, so. Still not the greatest, just so we're clear. Okay, yep, don't want to know what that... Okay, fantastic. My dislike for this is growing significantly. <laughs> Hello. Okay. That didn't go too terribly. I'm just kind of hoping there's a bonfire around here somewhere. Okay, so clearly something is in there. Let's just deal with that. These things are very creepy. <laughs> oh yeah, and then I got addicted to net hack. I forgot about that. Um, I actually uh, am getting further than I have before. Well, at least this swamp A doesn't slow us down and B poison us or something like that. Because <laughs> that would be terrible. Oh, thank goodness. We never have to worry about doing that section again. And you know what? I am perfectly okay with that. See, but I shouldn't be perfectly okay with that. I should want to go through these sections again and again. Like, I just thinking back to Dark Souls, the original Dark Souls. Um, 
Interesting. I actually thought that was going to be a... Um... Yeah. Uh, I thought that was going to be a shortcut back to the room that we started in, started this episode in. Now, of course, I rested there, didn't I? I didn't mean to rest there. And now we're stuck on top of a thing I didn't mean to be either stuck on top of. Fantastic. Well, we were running out of Estus anyway. This way we can focus on these guys. Ow. Ow. Okay, well, I'm just being careless now. But, like, these guys, these guys I'm not against fighting. Completely. They're... They have attacks that are annoying, and if they gang up on you, they're terrible. But, like, it's not the worst thing in the world uh, to fight them. Uh, which I far prefer to uh, the enemies in the last area. There's just nothing... There is nothing redeemable about them. And... I do want to clear out this area pretty thoroughly, because I'd like to get rid of that guy. Which, again, if he didn't have the stupidest stupidest attack in all of Dark Souls, um, I would actually be kind of excited to see him. Like, you made such a cool enemy design, and then he does a boring attack. And when I say a boring attack, I don't mean like it was uninteresting, it's just... Not one I want to deal with. <laughs> there's no, there's no counter, there's no counter to it. Uh, there's no. Uh, you just have to survive it. <laughs> Which, admittedly, he does appear to be summoning fewer things. So hopefully, we can deal with them a little better. I just really want to. Really want to clear these guys out as quickly as possible so we don't have to deal with him too terribly often. But like he that that is this is a cool thing to see. Like you walk into this area and then there's this there's the, just this enemy. Like most of the time bosses are the ones that are the ow. That was an interesting attack. Uh most of the time bosses are the ones that uh have the fifty feet tall Interesting. So if we attack these guys first, do they not... Interesting. Do they not come after us? I'm, I'm going to take care of them anyway, because uh, I don't want to find out that I should have later. There was nothing else interesting in here, was there? I don't think so. There's no reason to go over here, because we're just going to summon those annoying things. I don't think there was an item. I'm pretty sure there wasn't an item. Uh, I'm going to try to skirt around the outside here, hopefully without attracting their attentions. Ah, there is something in that direction, isn't there? That's frustrating. Do these things actually attack? Because I don't actually know that they've attacked us yet. They've just run away. No, no, they, they definitely did attack us. I think they just wait for uh, one of the big ones to be around, and then they attack, which is... See, these these are far more interesting enemies. <laughs> like, I could talk about them, I'm already speculating on, like, their life cycle, and it's just far preferable to enemies which are incredibly boring and kill you incredibly quickly. Okay, so I guess there were items. I, I keep thinking I see an item right here, and there there is no item right there. Okay, let's try heading this direction. No. Ah. Oh, hello. My favorite. Okay, well, as long as we, those main guys don't spawn, let's see if we can get him to come this way a little. No, he's not going to come this way a little. Fantastic. Okay, well, we don't have to deal with him then. So, what I should have... Oh, dear. You know what? Let's just get that item, because then we never have to deal with this again, and I'm kind of okay with that. Okay. Now I'm assuming they can't... Yeah, I'm assuming those don't hit us here. I have no idea where we're going. In a Dark Souls game, I should not be... One, met the dark with learning. But in the end, learnt his knowledge was wanting. The world 
began without knowledge, and without knowledge will it end. Does not this ring clear and true? Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. Hello. One poor girl slew her own kin, but even so was embraced, enveloped by the abyss. It was a comfort that neither moon nor sunless sky afforded her before. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. Who is he talking about? Is that someone we haven't met? Because uh, moon nor sunless... That almost make that, I mean, that makes me think of the Firekeeper from Anne Orlando in the first game. One met the dark with learning, but in the end learned is not the world. It does not fear and let. I have no idea what any of that means. I cannot go. I can, I I am excited to finish this DLC so that I can go. I'll take it. I hope that killed him. <laughs> Just so we're clear, I really hope that he dies from that fall. It does not appear that he did. Oh, that. Now that is a cleverly hidden path. I like that. Yes, my res my uh, response to a Dark Souls area should not be, I don't want to be here anymore. Um, although I say that. Hmm. Wait. Man, this really does feel... Oh, okay. Well, let's see if we can pull him this direction. Because that's the only way this is going to go well for us. If it goes well for us at all, which, you know, I'm not totally sure is going to happen. Oh, uh, why? Why? Okay. Why? Is it, could you stop walking this direction, please? Not this guy, the other guy. Okay, he's, he's just going to continue walking this direction, isn't he? So let's see if we can... Well, that went poorly. Don't we have that shield? Or didn't we find that shield in a previous game? You know what? Fine. You know what? Goodbye. Ugh. Of course. No. 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 Okay. Wait. What? But we're not hu- Well, we are. Oh, we are. Oh, we are. Okay, you know what? Let's- Let's, um, ow. Okay. We will fight him on this tiny little outcropping and hopefully not die. And since that appeared to be an NPC invader, I think we're okay. <laughs> Ow. No! Okay. Very close, very close. We have 11 Estus. I'm tempted to use one just so we're topped up. Topped up while we fight this guy. That is a big hammer. That is a very big hammer. Okay. Silver Knight Lido. See, if he was not an NPC invader, that would have hit us. Oh my. Well, I did hit the dodge button, but uh, clearly far too late. God, we have to go fight all those things again. Ah. <sighs> I don't think Dark Souls works very well in wide open areas. Because right now what I'm thinking is we don't really need to fight any of these things. We could just, you know, run across here. But maybe that's maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Okay, theoretically, that should not have attracted the attention oh why didn't why uh whatever. Ladders save us again. <laughs> You know, I had a whole whole list of topics of conversation. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so he's not going to say anything. Let's let's try going this way today. I'm interested. I'm. Oh, I know where we are. Excellent. That does make several things far more doable. Ah. Someday I will get a faster. Okay. Yep. Don't know why you did that all the way over there, but, uh... 
One of these days. Oh dear. Yeah, these guys have too much HP. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm out of... I see. I was like, why didn't I dodge there? <laughs> and when I said HP, I meant stamina, which is basically the same thing in this game. Okay. That was unfortunate, but I'll take it. Ugh. Well, that went poorly. You know what? You can just do that over there. On the plus side, I know where we are, and this means I don't have to feel quite so bad for uh, skipping that previous area. Ugh. Yep. Saw that coming. <laughs> okay, well. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Okay. Need to get out of the way then. Okay, just let them walk slowly, slowly this direction. What am I doing? Just grab that. Oh no, I was too close. Let's run this way. So he should be slightly more angry than the other guy. Okay. Yeah, these guys, way too much HP. I suppose that's okay, though. Okay. Yeah, so I had a whole bunch of topics to talk about, and I've forgotten all of them. Okay, we came that direction before. There's no, in no reason to go that direction. I'm not interested. Um, we killed these enemies once. Oh. Interesting. Wow, they really, uh, really want to... Make your life miserable there. Okay, uh, to be perfectly honest, I have no interest in doing any of this. Ow. Oh, wow, that went remarkably well. How did we lose so little HP there? <laughs> I expected to die when we fell from that height. You know, just before I started playing, this is one of the topics of conversation I was mentioning, um, I was reading about, and why do we have to fight two of these guys? It's just, that's uninteresting. Okay, so, we've attracted that guy's attention, and we're just going to walk this direction, even though they're both going to come after us. You know what? Forget it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I've just realized, we don't appear to have lost our... Wait. Yeah. I am confused. Wow, we had a lot of souls. So this guy isn't too terrible. It's just we just can't get hit ever. I say as I get hit on the first attack and don't even hit him. I don't know what that was and I don't want to find out. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> One of the problems with what I'm doing here, uh, interesting. I considered this yesterday, or yesterday, last, the, before we died the last time, 
and I just wanted to check it out this time, and it appears that there was indeed something there. Back to the uh, topic of conversation I was I was speaking of. Um, apparently, there was a performance art piece where a person uh, put 72 items on a table, um, including a loaded loaded gun. If I'm if I read that correct, if I read it correctly. Uh, and then, sa then said that as their performance art piece, they would be standing still for six hours, uh, no matter what happened. Which I think is a... It's interesting. I'll give it that. Uh, I don't know if it's... I don't know. It's, it's certainly the performance art piece that has most made me think. Um, but at the same time... I can't really decide what what point it had. Um, as so, one of the uh, uh, one of the results was that, of course, many things happened to this person. But you kind of expect that when you I don't know. Sorry, let me deal with this guy first. It's just, they chose an interesting thing to do. Um, I'm just not sure it had a... Oh, boy. Yeah. I tried dodging in the middle there. It didn't work. It's an inter so apparently Yoko Ono did something similar uh, with six objects or something like that um, before this person did their thing. Um, and anyway, yes. So I'm not really a performance art person. <laughs> uh, I kind of like my art to be understandable. Um, or what I should say is I think art should have a purpose uh, and... <laughs> and I believe that that art's purpose uh, should be clear, or at least graspable, easily. Ah, at least one level of the art should be graspable easily. So, so what I'm thinking about right now is uh, Shakespeare, because uh, Shakespeare is well, he's well known for uh, <laughs> being a good writer. <laughs> um, and one of the things with his plays is that practically everything that happens happens on six or seven different levels. Um, well, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little. Uh, but my point being that... I don't think this is a good enemy design. <laughs> That's not my point. My point being that uh, you can engage with it you can engage with his comedies on a surface level and engage with his comedies on a uh, and laugh at them and then you can engage with his comedies on a deeper level as a critique of of this or that thing or what have you um which i realize it's it's a little silly to be requiring people to be shakespeare um okay so interesting why did that start happening? We we succeeded the first two times. I thought it was as long as we started the uh, climb animation soon enough, it wouldn't nothing would happen to us. I don't know. I'm wondering if switching back to Solaire's armor might be helpful. Although, as I recall, this armor has some pretty good curse resistance. So, and we have been running into a lot of curse, cursing enemies. Do we only have thirteen Estus? I thought we had fifteen. Ugh. This is interesting. That kind of looks like the Abyss. Is this guy coming after us? Probably is coming after us. Well, this does appear to be the end of this path. Where did that guy go? Ah, oh, there he is. Is there no reason to be over here? Let's just get this guy to come over here and then we're going to run over there and see what happens. I'm kind of wonder. Yeah, there's no reason to come this direction. Fantastic. Well. Hmm. 
Now the question is, can we get back without dying? I don't think so, which does beg the question, what are you supposed to do here? Oh, I'm an idiot. Wait, what? Why can't we, oh, because we're invaded? That seems kind of silly. So basically you have to fight this guy once you come up here. Ah, or not, Never mind. Had to be something somewhere. We are running out of places to go. I mean, except towards the, uh... Whoa. Are we using Havel's Ring? We are. My goodness. Havel's Ring plus three. Wait. <laughs> wow. Does basically no good. Okay, cool. It's no better than normal Havel's Ring, I guess. Granted, normal Hovel's Ring is pretty good, so I guess that's all we really needed to be. So what I'd like to do is get back to the bonfire and see how many souls we need to, uh, to, um... Oh no, are we not going to be able to get back to the... We're not going to be able... Are we going to... Blah, blah, blah. Are we not going to be able to rest at the bonfire because we've been invaded? Uh... Yeah, it seems to be fine. Nope, okay, cool. I guess we'll go die over here, then. You know, when you want an enemy to kill you... Back to the performance art thing. It was an interesting idea, and admittedly, it has gotten me thinking, but... And at, Briefly, I was considering that, okay, that was, a, that was a pretty interesting art piece, but, on the other hand, what, what did it accomplish? Because, <laughs> this is going to sound uh, crazy, uh, or very silly, um, if you wanted to prove that people were uh, inherently terrible or something, or, or that people would inherently um, disrespect disrespect a uh, a person far beyond. Hmm, I'm not even sure what to say here. <laughs> it wasn't a scientific study, is what I'm trying to get at, which I realize was not the point, and it does sort of. Uh, whoa, that is an awful effect. Um, it, that wasn't its point, obviously. So, so judging it on that is kind of silly. Um, but at the same time, if that's the case, then did it really have a point? Um, if you, if you take some, so I, I watched a, um, oh boy, uh, I watched a movie recently called, um, uh, and Justice for All. Oh. It's a Al Pacino movie um, where he plays a lawyer that's representing a few different clients. Um, okay, uh, because I want to talk about this movie, um, let me just say, uh, spoilers, uh, skip ahead like three minutes if you don't want spoilers for a movie from the 1970s. Okay, so this guy should be defeatable. Oh boy. And he doesn't appear to summon those guys when we're nearby. Excellent. That is most excellent. Now if only I can not die from these things. Okay, so yes, uh, he's a lawyer uh, that is representing a few different clients, all of whom have been wronged somehow by the modern justice system, let's say. And by modern justice system, I am, of course, referring to the, mo the justice system of the 1970s, which is, you know, very similar. Um, what the movie, I believe, was... The theme of the movie, basically, is that the United States isn't really just for everyone. It's just for certain people and not everybody else. Uh, but 
The way they go about showing that is, and this is the spoilery part, is that all of this guy's clients uh, die. Uh, one hangs themselves. Uh, one gets shot by police after uh, holding up a prison, a prison, uh, uh, prison place, prison hospital, uh, and one of them. And so she lived in fear. Oh. Of the dark, of the things that gnawed at her flesh, and yet the abyss had yet to produce any such creature. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. Well then. So, the fire keepers then. Oh, we're right here, aren't we? Um, so yes, all, all of his, uh, all of his clients die, and... <laughs> they're all for stupid reasons, you know? Uh, and of course, all of his, all of the people that should be punished by the justice system get off scot-free. So, like, I, I can sympathize with what they were trying to do. Oh, ex except for the, the main character. So the main character breaks down at the end and basically throws away his, his law license, uh, to bring one person to justice. Um, so I see where they were going, but... I don't know. I like optimism. <laughs> I feel like saying everything is terrible and the only way that anything's going to get better is by everybody being uh, thrown out of practicing law or something. They didn't really present a solution is, is what I'm tr trying to get at here. My goodness, this was a terrible mistake. Um, so... In a similar fashion, while it was interesting to have the, uh, <coughs> uh, while that performance art piece is interesting, it doesn't really present a solution, nor does it really say anything about the standard state of affairs. Now, you could infer things about the standard state of affairs, but there's not really any... Oh. Okay, well, I guess we're dying here then. Oh yeah, I forgot to check how many souls we needed to level up. I don't know. Because the 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 problems brought up in Injustice for er uh, Injustice for All are certainly problems, but at the same time <laughs> things aren't quite that bad. There, there were many times when something happened, and I was like, that's not how law works. <laughs> um, the legal system, in general, that is. And I feel like if you're making a movie about a lawyer, that should be something that you should... Oh, I hate these guys so much. Oh my goodness. What? What? Why? Why? Who designed this enemy? Okay, so on the one hand... Wait, what? Oh, fantastic. I didn't notice him there. Somehow, didn't notice the 30-foot tall thing. Now that I know that that guy comes back, I am less happy with it. <laughs> Um, okay. Well. Oh, interesting. I... I'm kind of hitting a point where I'm disengaging with this content. <laughs> yeah. Admittedly, that was my fault. I should have turned around and uh, held up my shield sooner. Um, but, yeah. I suppose I shouldn't, uh, turn this into a political thing. <laughs> just, just here to play Dark Souls, you know?
See, I could fight all these things, but I don't really want to. Ah, <laughs> uh, because fighting all of them would take a very long time. And I don't have any particular reason to fight them. You know? And I hate those things. Well... Wow, that's a bunch of stuff. Oh, hey! No, uh... No giant, f uh, shooting arrows for us, though, sadly. Ah. Here's a place. This is clearly a trap. Church Guardian Shiv. Oh, Shiv, right. Sorry, I was, for some reason I was interpreting Shiv as a, uh, uh, as a name, which was, of course, quite silly. Well, I don't want to fight any of these things. Hopefully we don't have to. Yeah, I see that. Is there any reason to be here? I don't really see one. Oh. Isn't this, uh... Yeah. So there is an item there. Um, that obelisk kind of looks important. But I don't really see a reason to come this direction. Well, that's, uh, that's not, uh, <laughs> pleasant. Ah, I forgot to check how many souls we need to level up. Not that we're going to be fighting many things. I just don't have any reason to, you know? So I'm pretty sure the way forward is up that church over there. So what we're going to do is run this direction. Uh, hopefully not get killed by those archers. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything particularly interesting around here. Yeah, we could go that direction. I'm not terribly, terribly invested. It's just gonna check to see if anything goes over here. That guy woke up. Oh, no, he didn't. Never mind. It's just, uh, looked like it did, though. It's a long way down. Uh, nothing interesting over there. This is just a big empty field. Oh dear. Didn't mean to jump there. Or roll. Where's Patches when you need him? So is this the Abyss? I mean, it doesn't really look like it. I thought it was, because it's got that kind of weird bluish glow. But perhaps it's not. Why are there so many of those things? Okay, so... This all looks terrible. Hopefully we can run this way and not attract the attention of anybody except this guy. Get this item. I do want that item behind the other guy, though. You know what? Let's just ignore that guy. There is nothing here. Well then, um, yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's any reason to come this direction. <laughs> it's not a great sign when you have zero reason to engage with any of the content that you're get there giving you. <laughs> like, we're going to die, but there's no reason to prevent our death. Uh... I don't really know where we're going. I'm just kind of... Ooh. Light flickered there for a second. Oh, that was weird. Um, have we been this direction? I don't know that we have. Was that a... Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, this, this is, this is going to fall apart. Yep. Saw that coming. Give me Demon Souls vibes now. Is 
That was interesting. Yeah, this is not nearly as, uh... Not nearly as mean as Demon Souls, or even earlier in Dark Souls, for that matter. Now, there isn't a reason to... Oh, hello. Why are you not dead? Excellent. Apparently doesn't hit us down here. I guess we can fight these guys. That was pure luck. None of those items were interesting. Wait, is this a guy? This is a guy. Where'd that, uh... Where'd that dragon go? <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. Well, there is a... Okay, let's go this direction. This is... I'm pretty sure this is the wrong direction. Oh. Oh. Where are we? Oh, by... I don't care! You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, the dungeon... Oh! That was stupid. <laughs> this reminds me of the dungeon in Berser Berserk. Um... I guess this was not the direction to go. Wait, is there a... Is there a reason to go this way? Where are we going? Um, I keep expecting us to die suddenly from a trap that I don't see, but... Okay, wait. We are heading down, because, yeah, obviously there's this. Yeah, unfortunately, the... the Invading spirit there is going to be fairly frustrating. There's no way to go down from here. Hmm. I guess we have to be very carefully. We have to very carefully um, explore this area. I mean, that surprises nobody. Okay. I would have thought that was a mimic even out even without the uh, message there. Uh, okay, so where are we going exactly? I am not sure at all. I, I'm not sure in the slightest. Oh, that's never a good thing to see. Just going to hang out here for a second, see if it comes back. I guess it doesn't. Everything is so quiet here. Oh my goodness, please. Thank you. What is this? Skeletons that... Oh. Skeletons that don't respawn? What is this? You know, it would be an interesting Dark Souls area. One where your health ticks away about the same speed as, um... Okay, so we came in there. Uh, one where your health ticks away at about the... Oh, what? What? Where are we? Okay. Just gonna hide behind this rock here for a second. I feel like that shouldn't be hitting us right now. Yeah, that's not gonna go well. Yeah, that's about what I expected. This kind of looks like, uh, the, the other place. The second first Dark Souls DLC. <laughs> um, Ulusil? Yeah, it feels like Ulusil. Okay, so this guy is clearly... Clearly here to... Excellent. 
Excellent. Well, this is, uh, some classic Dark Souls, um... Enemy design. Can't see what I'm hitting. Can't see if it has HP. Oh, it does have HP. That's always good. Yeah, it was probably a waste. I can't see anything. I'm just gonna attack this arm for a while, I guess. I wonder if we're supposed to be doing this. That is a creepy looking attack. I can't see anything. Ow. Uh. Yep. I'm running out of things to say because I don't actually have a whole lot to talk about here. Ow. Yeah, you should not rest at that safe zone. This this is a far superior location to, to rest. We're going to ignore this guy. Oh, interesting. I mean, I'll take it. Ow. I have no idea what that was. That was... not the greatest. Where are we? Door. Oh, there's a door. Hey, an enemy. Ah. Uh, my favorite enemy in the game. Okay. This is a weird little area. Why is this here? Why is this here? Okay. <laughs> Why is this here? <laughs> I mean, the lightning arrow is cool and all, don't get me wrong, but a soul, I don't know. Maybe I'm expecting too much. Well, I think it's just because it's this weird random hallway in a... What is this room? <laughs> I guess that's what I'm getting at. Like, what is this room? What is that room? Where are we? Always a good sign that we're about to be attacked. Nice. Nice. I don't want to walk into this room. We haven't died yet. Um, so Gwyn is placing the crown on, I would assume, the furtive pygmy's head. I have never wanted to be able to climb like we can in Dark Souls, or Demon Souls, more than I do right now. Okay, well, this is going to be boring, but one second. <laughs> Gotta check all these walls. How can we not get that item? So, I'm 90% sure that we have missed something so far, but at the same time, we keep moving forward, like we are progressing, so I don't know that we missed anything important. I did not expect this to go up. Oh, well, gonna have to try that, I guess. Where are we? Oh, okay. This is that door. This is the door that I thought the other door was. Okay. Uh, was that this side? No, that was this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. 
I don't like that there's blood stains everywhere. Let's not walk across the center of the room. An ember. Cool. I guess that's... F oh, a fog wall? This cannot... No. No. <laughs> this can't be a... Where are we? <sighs> Where are we? Fog wall ahead. What are you talking about? Why is there a blood stain? How did this person die? Oh, they just fell down the stairwell. Yes? Yes. Okay. I'm far more okay with that. This is quite possibly the most confusing... <sighs> My goodness. Oh, well. <laughs> Gotta go this way. Nice. Nice. That is... That is... Very nice. Okay, where have we missed? We missed that one item in the big in the big area. You know what? Let's uh, let's try getting those items back after we go this way. Because <laughs> I am curious what's down this stairwell. Fog wall. That can't be right. No, not. <laughs> I know. I know. Everyone dies going down this way. Yeah, that's basically what I was expecting. Okay. Well, um... Now... <laughs> no one would design a castle like this. Violet wrappings. What? Wait. This kind of looks like... Hmm. Don't you... I am so confused. Violet wrappings? What are violet wrappings? My goodness, we have a lot of souls saved up. Uh, okay, It'll throw illusory blade that seek foes. Oh, unlimited. Unlimited, you say? Oh, consume FP. Okay, I was like, gotta be something there. Um, I gotta say, there's a lot of interesting things going on in this DLC, for which I am very excited. But, and this is a big but, I have no motivation to uh, interact with any of the um, Black Witch Veil. Vale. Veil vale of the Witch's Zully, who... I intended to seduce Alpha the Wayfarer. Huh. I have no idea who either of those people are. Um, the locations and the stuff we're finding is very interesting. The enemies are terrible. Like, truly, truly horrible. So I'm wondering, I mean, this does appear to be like a chapel of the, uh, the, the serpents, um, and, oops, didn't mean to fall quite that far. Well, this looks, this looks like, well, what? Why is there light here? There wasn't light here before. Well, let's get that item, I guess. We have so few souls. Budding green blossom. Oh yeah, I wanted to... Eh, I guess it's coming back faster than it was before. I can't really tell. Well, that's not... That's not a thing. The te grass is not textured. Yeah, fighting this guy is going to be... Interesting. Yeah. As I said, uh, my desire to inter engage with any of these... Oh, boy. Well, at least we get to try it again. That's nice of them. Oops. Meant to dodge there. Kind of forgot to push the button. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, the stuff, the lore, the uh, the items, they're all interesting. Uh, the few items we have found that aren't just upgrades to existing items. Um, but, oh, this isn't where we want to be. Um, I think we do want to go here first. I guess it is a ringed city, so I suppose the architecture would be a little weird. But that was interesting, a fog wall that we can't go through. Hmm. But yes, the enemies themselves are not not engaging to me. Um, I don't really feel like there's any reason for me to fight them. Because, <laughs> you know, we could, but why would I fight any of these things? There's there's literally no reason to... St I mean, except to grab the items and run through here, there's, there's just no reason to do anything in this valley. Mostly because these enemies are a true pain to fight. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the caster ones, not the, uh, not those guys. Not these guys. These guys are fine. Okay, so, I don't really want to fight this guy. All I really want is the item. Because, again, why would we fight this guy? I mean, we might, we might get an item from fighting this guy, admittedly. Let's, uh... Ow. Ow. That was boring. Well then. Uh, I guess we can give it a shot. Seems like he would have something interesting. I mean, isn't this just the... Uh... Ah! I was being too greedy. Glad he didn't do multiple of those. It's good to know that he doesn't do multiple of those. I don't like that attack, um, or I don't like dodging that attack multiple times. It's a good single uh, single attack uh, from a design standpoint, in my opinion. Granted, I'm no uh, master game designer. Okay, admittedly, Clarion three reading plus three is pretty cool. Got stuck behind his shield. So yeah, we could fight him, we could beat him, uh, I don't really feel like doing anything. Ah, oh, dear. So, we got that item, which turned out to be incredibly boring. Um, he probably dropped something interesting, but I don't really care. Uh, I believe... Mausoleum Lookout, oh yeah. There have not been very many uh, bonfires in this DLC. Of course, maybe we just haven't gone very far. And there have been no bosses. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there are... In fact, I'm, I think I looked it up because I wanted to know how many bosses we had to fight. And I didn't... I don't remember anything about them, but I think there are two bosses. Um, we have seen neither of them. And couldn't even say that both of them are required to beat the DLC, you know. Oh, there is something down there. Probably death. Um... Okay, so let's see. We just need to run past this guy on the left. Yeah, current three ring plus three is showing its usefulness in combat. It doesn't seem to be particularly. It doesn't seem much faster, but I I was definitely feeling it in that last fight. That last fight being the last time we actually tried fighting anything. <laughs> in the last I don't know hour, half hour, forty five minutes. Ritual Spear Fragment. Interesting. Listen, I have no uh, no interest in fighting you. Interesting. Okay. Admittedly, I was trying to um, figure out what he said there. Uh... Okay, let's get let's drag this guy this way a bit. What's the first thing this guy says? Hmm. Okay. Well. Oh. Interesting.
Rude. Um, where does that leave us? We were supposed to do something for that, um... Is he going to follow us? Yeah, he did. It's loud and obnoxious. Nope. Don't want to fall off there. So did we... Did we actually miss something important? Um... Where does that go? Uh... Did we... No, that's just the... That's the dungeon place that we already went through. Right? Yeah, yeah, because that got us out up here. Okay. Um, it's a long way down. Eh, bridge. Oh, that kind of looks like there might be something there. Hmm. Oops. I'm kind of at a loss. So, we've run into two... Ow. Could fight this guy. Ow. Oh, interesting. I kind of expected that to, uh... <sighs> but do we have a reason to fight this guy? We don't really have a reason to fight this guy. Okay, that's good to know. If we are next to this guy's left arm? Yeah, left arm. Um, yeah, right here appears to be fairly safe from his breath attack. I take that back. It appears to be safe from all of his attacks. No, oh, except for that one, apparently. Still. Oh no! Oh no. Well, now that we've found that safe spot, I'm kind of tempted to just fight that guy. Um, not that we have a whole lot of reason to. Because <laughs> once again, there's there's no reason to engage with any of this content. Um, I keep saying that, uh, hmm, I don't know, I felt like all I've done for this DLC is complain, this is the wrong direction, because the first area, uh, is where we got this suit of armor, and, interesting, ow, Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe we won't go fight that guy. Why was he there this time? Does he not reset, reset between deaths? That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have... We've met with two... Uh, yeah, so the first arrow where we found this guy, there were those things that, f uh, that shoot arrows at you from above. Then the next area has the has the infinite arrows from the from the summoned guys. And then and then all those uh those um dark soul knights. I don't have a have a good description for them. Um are kind of a pain to fight. Like it they're beatable, but they're not interesting. <laughs> um so all I've done for this DLC has been complain. So we have two doors that we can't get through. We don't really have a whole lot of... Um... Oh, interesting. I guess he doesn't reset between, uh... Oh no! Yeah, I saw that coming. Well, I guess I'm gonna pause the episode there, and if it turns out that we're far enough, then uh, this will be the end of the episode. If not, um, I'm going to come back with knowledge of where we're supposed to go. 